Prime Minister Justin Trudeau heads to Washington Monday to meet with Donald Trump. But what's on the agenda? And does Canada need to make any concessions to get in line with the Americans? Let's head to Ottawa. CTV's John Martin gets the numbers from pollster Nick Nanos. All right, thank you. It's time for Nick Nanos on the numbers. Hey, Don. Well, you're Nick Nanos. It's just Nanos on the numbers. Yes. Okay. Conservatives, stick it with me here. You've got some good news coming, but first let's talk about other things, okay? Yes, sure. Um, Donald Trump, a lot of his policies, we're looking at whether we have to match or replicate them in any way, shape, or form. You've done some surveying. Tax on corporations, he's going to lower them. Yes. Are the public, is the public with us, with him? Well, I guess the big a- news is if you're a U.S. corporation is you're waiting for the Donald to lower corporate taxes. And uh, we asked Canadians whether they believe that the Canadian government should mirror dropping corporate taxes uh, like they're doing or expected to do in the United States. In the poll that we did for the Global Mail, it suggests that 54% of Canadians oppose or somewhat oppose Mm. matching the U.S. drop, while only about 40% support or somewhat support. So it looks Mm. like overall... Uh, people don't want to see uh, the government of Canada match those drops in corporate tax rates. I guess that might change if corporations started moving to the states. But yes. We'll have to see about but that. But for now, no. But now pollution is another one. Carbon tax is getting a lot of traction, particularly in the House. They had a debate this week on the energy sector and carbon taxation was part of it. But you your did a survey on whether we should be... Uh, I guess going as apathetic as the U.S. seems to be going on yes. carbon emissions. What going with the new flow. The new flow. The new flow, so to speak. The new smokestack. You know, it, uh, you know the federal government has uh, has aggressive targets in terms of reducing methane gas emissions, and uh, Donald Trump wants to go on a different tack. He's talking coal and mm-hmm. all that kind of stuff. And uh, what we tested on was whether Canadians thought that we should be adjusting our targets down in order to. Uh, match the United States and it looks like uh, where the first one was a no this is a big no Mm -hmm. you can see uh, more than seven out of every ten Canadians support or somewhat support staying on track in Mm -hmm. terms of the promised emissions reductions that the federal government has Mm -hmm. and not to match what likely will be happening in the United States so Canadians want us to chart our own course on the environment compared to Donald Trump. I'm surprised because, you know, in Ontario particularly there's a big outcry over the price of hydro going up and that's linked to the fact that they got rid of the coal-fired power plants that made hydro a lot more expensive, uh, yet they seem to say that doesn't matter, we still got to stay the clean route. Yeah, I think prob- probably part of the broader narrative is that Canadians are a little nervous about anything that has to do with aligning with Donald Trump on a lot of issues, mm. issues related to the environment and so forth. And uh, every time you use the T word, <laughs> that uh, perhaps uh, Canadians not, are not hot on that alignment. Yeah, and you and I talked about it earlier this week that Canadians do want, they don't want Justin Trudeau to go down there and be a poodle. Exactly. They want him to yeah. you know, stand up to this Well, guy. not just that. I don't think, uh, I think for Canadians, they want us to chart our own course. They don't necessarily want us to align with the United States mm-hmm. on, uh, on these types. It looks like the new environmental path for the United States. They don't want us to move to that level. They want us to keep to the standard that the uh, federal Liberal government has charted out so All far. All right. Conservatives are demanding I move along because they want to hear the good news. But let's look at the national ballot first. Yeah, to check it out, Don. You can see that trend line. And the red trend line for the Liberals is... Uh, Still going down. Yes, still. not not positive, as we would say wow. mathematically. You can see that they're at 38%. Still decent. They're ahead, but you can see the Conservatives have been trending up over the last six weeks, and uh, they're starting to uh, close the gap. We have the Liberals at 38, the Conservatives at 33, and the New Democrats not moving. They're at 16 uh, percent. You know, as, as you and I have talked, it's, it's even more incredible because the Conservatives have got 14 people that want to be leader. We don't know which way the party's going to go after May 27th when they pick their new leader. So, considering Conservative, this yes. is what the, the so, true blue faithful have been waiting for. What, so, are they, what should they be well, excited check, about? <laughs> check out this trend line, right. Don. You can see yeah. that since we started tracking this in 2013, the green line, which is the proportion of Canadians that would consider voting Conservative, never past the people that said that they would not consider voting conservative. We have 48% of Canadians at this particular point in time, or almost one out of every two, saying that they would consider voting conservative. That's a high from August in 2013. Uh, The accessible conservative vote is higher than at the end of the Stephen Harper government, the second half of his majority mandate. And uh, what this says is, is that the proportion of Canadians that would consider voting conservative even though they might not be in the blue column is starting to ramp up and uh, people are open to wow. voting for conservative it speaks to the importance of this leadership race yeah yeah because if they pick the wrong way that might reverse in a hurry 
Yeah. yeah. Well, it's usually lower. So, yeah. uh, you know, I think w the, for the Conservatives, they've got to run a good race and see whether they can attract uh, more Canadians. That cheer you just heard is true blue Conservatives getting excited again. It's been a long time. All right, Nick Nanos, thanks very much. Back to you in Toronto.